Recently, I did a video of Alex Jones having a facial meltdown. It looked like he was having a hard time holding himself together. In the course of that video, I showed a clip from this 1977 backstage. I guess it was a little bit of a ceremony for Elvis. This was Rapid City, South Dakota. Here you see Elvis being presented with a plaque and the medallion of life from a little girl. Her name is easy to find online, but I didn't want to put it out here on this video. It's a little bit weird to have your name associated with this, and she is still alive. And let me just say right up front, I do not believe she is a shapeshifter. Now, let's get into the weirdness. Uh, Elvis is about to accept the medallion of life from the little girl. He's going to lean in, give her a kiss. Everything seems pretty normal up until this point. You'll see some pictures here in a moment, but then about here, things get a little strange. So now we're going to go through a series of pictures where you see the little girl have a range of emotions, and then right about here, she sees something wrong as he pulls away. What does she see? Well, we're all about to see it for ourselves as he stands up and looks at the camera right here. What's weird is somehow the guy holding the microphone misses this part, but here very soon he's going to notice something that is amiss. I think that'll be right about here. And he looks a little disturbed. After seeing this, he quickly walks away. And then acts like nothing ever happened. Look at his face. Yikes. You also see a couple of Elvis's men uh, seeing everything as it happens. One of them steps in front of the camera. The other man goes directly for the eye that was just melting. Here we go again, in real time. See Elvis's guy step in front of the camera right here. Then the other guy goes right for the eye. He saw exactly what happened. That's the only way to explain him going right onto the eye. Now you start to see some other weirdness around Elvis's face. Uh, looks like he's getting holes around his eyes. Now people will tell you, no, those were just dark circles under his eyes. You know, have you ever seen this phenomenon before? And also, look. Look at the shape of his face and head. He looks like a turtle, if not a snake, right there. Now, that's important because this is the afternoon of the concert, just a few hours before he goes on stage. We're going to see him on stage here in a little bit, and he's going to look very, very different. In fact, now is this the same guy we just saw? In this next picture coming up, it was supposed to be taken at the same time as the other picture. What is going on here? How does this even make sense? Now, as they're leaving, if you look back in the background, you'll see them working on Elvis, which... He's going to need a lot of work to look like he did in the one picture, that's for sure. One more time, let's look again. I don't even believe that's the same guy. I just don't see it. He looks entirely different. All the way around. It's supposed to be the same day, the same night, the same moment. Even the little girl looks different. Now, here's an article about those videotapes. You see the uh, blurry part right in the middle is because this gentleman could not sell these tapes for profit. They, someone got a hold of them years ago, I saw this online, and they put the entire four and a half hours online. Now, someone has chased it all down, but that's where I first came in contact with this weird video, the one where his face blows up. The thing about the black and white videos is they're from a pure source. They were only handled by that one gentleman for years and years, so they have more of a clean line of ownership. Now, I don't know what happened to put this online or if he had anything to do with it, but someone snuck them out years and years ago and put the whole four and a half hours on. I watched it. I didn't record it, but I, I remember seeing this initial video where his head explodes, and I just didn't know what to make of it. And then I went back, and it was gone. It disappeared. And now look how much better the quality is of this video suddenly from the one we had seen earlier. There are cleaner and cleaner versions of this floating around. And there is a version of this where nothing, none of this happens. Yeah, bothersome. But there, right there in the color, it was still visible. I've had a lot of time since the first time I saw this video to come up with crazy reasons that maybe his face did do this, but it wasn't anything unusual. Maybe he had a mini stroke. Maybe it was a medical condition of some sort. I don't know, but what kind of medication did they give him that made his face structurally that different in that short a period of time? 
I don't know. And what was the deal with the guy going right for his eye after it looked like it blew out of his head? Like the dude saw it. Also, one other thing while I'm thinking about it, I'm not going to rewind this tape yet again, but before his guy steps in front of the camera, he has his back to the camera and Elvis is talking to him. And then after he blocks the camera shot for a second and Elvis talks to him, the guy turns back around and it's obvious he's looking to see the camera position, but he's acting like he's looking at something else. I don't know. I would love there to be some easy answers here because this is infinitely bothersome to me. Right down to the fact that some people seem to notice this transformation, uh, then others don't. And as you continue to look at this at different moments, he's equally like horrendously hideous in each video, but at different times. And I think I'm about to call it a day. I just saw something once again I've never noticed before in the black and white film. I don't know. You spend too long with something like this, it begins to get in your head. My suggestion, whenever you're bored, go find this, screen record it, because it will be gone again, and then go frame by frame yourself. I don't know. Maybe this explains why Elvis was never wanting to go out in public. Now, I never could get a time frame here. You see him being worked on, and then you see him coming out, and there's another example of two pictures taken at the same time with the same people. Was it really? Or do you think the one on the left was maybe a makeup or mock-up later on? At the end of this video, I'll show you one more thing where Google's gotten involved in trying to cover this up a little bit that's also bothersome. But for now, we'll go back to the door and Elvis coming out to sing at his final live concert in front of a crowd. Here he is. Now, he looks much better here too, doesn't he? Same show. This is South Dakota. Uh, he played on the 19th, and he played on the 21st. The 21st was South Dakota. There he is. Look at him. Is that the same guy from a while ago that looked like a turtle? And what is up with that? I don't know. All I know is this. There was a bunch of weirdness going around Elvis right there at the end. That's really all I have in that regard. And here he is on stage once again looking like a completely different guy than the dude whose eye had just blown out and he was starting to turn into a turtle yeah he's a little jowly here got some jowls going but very different allegedly on drugs or not i don't care i ain't never seen no drugs that could do that to a person last thing before we go this is how google presents that day if you go through a lot of their stuff now granted you will be able to find the video you just saw here but google doesn't really go out of their way for you to see it after all wouldn't want to disturb anyone Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay vigilant.